Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you guys how to dual boot and multi boot different classic systems into one. This basically turns your classic system into a multi classic system. You can have an NES classic and then you can flash the Super Nintendo classic or the Famicom Mini or any of the other ones into your system and turn it into that system or add a bunch of them at once and turn it into a multi-system. There's no H mods you have to install or anything like that. The process just involves adding what are called HSQS files. Unfortunately, I can't provide those for you. You will have to find them for yourself, but they are very easy to find. All you have to do is search for the specific name of the HSQS file, and I can guarantee that you will find these no problem. So if you're looking for Nintendo HSQS files, you want the NES, or the Famicom or the Shonen Jump. For Super Nintendo, you have the European Super Nintendo, the American, or you have the Super Famicom. I'll make sure you have access to these photos so you can look up the file names for yourself, or I will leave the file names in my description for you to just copy and paste into whatever search engine that you use. I have all my files in this folder right here. I'm gonna do this demonstration with the Shonen Jump, the Famicom, the Super Famicom, and then the USA SNES. All you have to do is take these trimmed files over. I recommend you use the trimmed versions. Just drag them into your games list over here. They'll be added to the top of your game list in HackGCE. Once they're added, you can name these however you want and you can add your box art. So here's what everything looks like after I've changed the box art and I've renamed them. We have the Famicom Shonen Jump, Super Nintendo, and Super Famicom. Now if you don't always have your system connected to your PC, and you want to multi boot or dual boot, this is what you need to do. You're gonna right click somewhere and go to new text document. Now you can keep that text document named however you want. We're gonna drag that into our games list again. You need to rename the command line here from slash bin slash text to hsqs space underscore nand underscore and make sure there's a space between that last underscore and the next slash. Now when you select this document as a game, it will flash you back to your original firmware. A couple options you may also be interested in. In your settings tab, separate games for multi-boot. If you don't do this, it's going to flash every game that you have on every system together. So all the games you have on your NES Classic will appear on your SNES, your Famicom, they will all be together. So you may prefer that. If not, make sure this option is checked here. The other thing is if you want the original games, and that's why you're doing this multi-boot, make sure under your view tab in original games, they're not hidden or unselected. So now we're all set. We have our HSQS files here, and we have our file that will take us back to our original firmware on the NES. So let's go over there. We're gonna flash through these systems real quick and show you just how this works. All right, so here we go. I'm on my NES Classic. Here's all our HSQS files. Now obviously I don't have that text document on here because this is the firmware we're gonna be returning to. So I'm gonna try and do all this in real time. Uh, my recording software turns off when it doesn't detect that something's plugged into it and every time you flash the firmware, it has to reset the system. So we're gonna try and do this first. We're on the NES Classic, let's flash to the SNES Classic. It's as simple as just selecting it as a game and then your system will restart. And here we go, now we have our SNES Classic. Um, like I said, if you keep that option checked for separating games for multi-boot, um, you'll be able to keep the original games on here. If you have that not checked, it'll flash the same games on every firmware. So anyway, uh, let's try the Super Famicom version. And here's our Japanese Super Famicom Classic. And I forgot to mention this in the Super Nintendo. Here's our uh, NES NAND file that we created. So how about uh, the Famicom? All right, all the Famicom games here. And then to finish off the Shonen Jump console, the newest one to come out. Check this out.
So there you go. That's how you get all these other systems, dual boot, multi boot, whatever you want, onto one system. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to hit this NAND file. And hopefully this will take us back to our original NES Classic. And there we go. So make sure you keep coming back. I'm going to have a lot more things to show what you can do with your classic system. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out? And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.